it's Lucy and I'm so glad that you're here. Last week we talked about Adam and Eve and how their story shows us that sin matters and we should not be falling into temptation. This week we're going to talk about a really cool character in the Bible. Her name is Rahab and Rahab welcomed two strangers into her home and she welcomed them with kindness and we're going to hear all about her story. God welcomes us into his home and we are adopted into his family. Before we get too far into our story, we're gonna play a game. In our story, the two men she welcomes into our home are spies, and we wanna see how good of a spy you are. So play this game and we'll be right back. I spy with my little eye something beginning with D. Door, drum, dwarf. I spy with my little eye something beginning with K. Kangaroo, knife, keyboard. I spy with my little eye something beginning with R. Rocket, rainbow, raft. I spy with my little eye something beginning with W. Window, wall, wind. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Salt, spoon, shark. I spy with my little eye something beginning with A.
Anchor Angel Apple I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Pumpkin, pink, pizza. I spy with my little eye something beginning with L. Ladybug, Lion, Lock. I spy with my little eye something beginning with N. Needle, nail, nine. I spy with my little eye something beginning with B. Bone, balloons, beard. How was your game? Did you get a lot of the answers correct? I bet you did because you guys are so smart. Now that we've played our game, we're going to head into worship. So go ahead and stand on up and get ready to give praise to God. He loves to hear your voice. So stand up and we'll be right back. Shoot me down, 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 down Now I'm bulletproof Because of you, because of you And now I'm bulletproof Because of you, because of you You love me away Now I'm not afraid No matter what the world may say Or what they say Because of you 
under control My soul is untouchable Because you've already won me My victory is not in this flesh and bone It's in the cross and I know Nobody's taking it from me I got my armor now No fear, no doubt Can't shoot me down, yeah I got my armor now No fear, no doubt Gonna shoot me down, 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 down now Forgiven, 
accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. Cause we were the players, now we're royalty. We were the prisoners, and now we're running free. We are forgiven, accepted, redeemed by His grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise.
is your worship time. I love singing and dancing to God, and He loves to hear our voice through song. God also loves to hear our voice through prayer. So in these next few minutes, I want you to pause this video and talk with your parents and your teachers and your friends about any concerns, any praises you want to lift up to God. Use this time to discuss with them and discuss with God what's going on. If you've been baptized, you can also use this time to take communion. Your parents or your teachers should have the supplies you need to do that. So go ahead and pause this video and then come right back here. How was your prayer time? I hope you were able to share with your family and your friends and your teachers all of your prayer requests, your concerns, your worries, and your praises to God. Today we're going to talk about a woman named Rahab. And Rahab wasn't really liked in her town. And she made some pretty big mistakes. But today in our story, we're going to see a part of her life where she makes a really good decision. Decision. She welcomes people into her home and because of that, God welcomes her into his big story. So watch this video and then we'll talk afterwards. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Rahab. This is Rahab. Hi. Rahab lived in the town of Jericho in the Promised Land. Rahab was not an Israelite and she made bad choices. Hmm. But God had a plan for Rahab, even though she was a sinner. Ah, all right. Now God told his people, the Israelites, hey, that's us. to go into the Promised Land. So Joshua sent two spies to search the land around the city of Jericho. The two spies came to Rahab's house to stay the night. The king of Jericho heard that there were spies in his city, so he sent orders for Rahab to bring them out. But Rahab hid the spies and told the king's men that it was true that the men were at her house, but she did not know where they were now. She told the king's men to go quickly to find the spies because they could not have gone far. Oh, no. oh, right. So the king's men rushed out to the city in pursuit of the Israelite spies. All the while, the Israelites hid on Rahab's roof. So Rahab went to them and said, I know the Lord has given you this land. We have heard of the great acts that God has done for you. Your God is the God of all the heavens and the earth. So please swear to me that you will be kind to my family. The spies agreed to this, and Rahab helped them escape from the city. Before they left, they told Rahab to tie a scarlet rope to the window. Yeah! Wow! Oops! Uh-huh! This rope would serve as a mark for Rahab's house and would remind the Israelites of their promise to her. Thank you! Oh, thank you! And so the spies were on their way. For three days, they hid from the king's men who were looking for them. Finally, they returned to Joshua and told them all they had seen. Rahab was remembered for her faithfulness, for she had given a friendly welcome to the spies and put her trust in the one true God. What a cool 
story. See, God was trying to move his people into the promised land. And these people were called Israelites. And they were going to do whatever God had asked them to do. Because before this, God had already done so many miraculous things for them. He had brought them out of Egypt. He had parted the Red Sea. And he had saved them time and time again from kings who were trying to defeat them. They knew that God was the one true God and he was going to protect them. Now, Rahab, our main character for today, she wasn't an Israelite, but she still knew all of the things that God was doing. And because of that, she was able to recognize and see that he is the one true God. And so when the spies come into her home, she grants them kindness and love, and she protects them because she knows the power of the God that they serve. And because of her kindness to them, they repay her back with the same kindness and they protect her. She is able to welcome them into her home and so she is then welcomed into God's story and to God's promise to his people to save them. Let's take a look at our memory verse for today and we'll talk more. Our memory verse for today comes from Ephesians 2 verse 19. It says, consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. Guys, Rahab went from being a stranger to the Israelites to being a fellow citizen with them. See, Rahab wasn't going to be saved, but because of her, her kindness and her love, she is saved. And because Rahab is saved, she marries a man named Salmon and they have a son named Boaz. And Boaz marries a really cool girl in the Bible named Ruth, and they have a son named Obed. Obed goes on to have a son named Jesse, and Jesse has a son named David, who we know as King David, and he did lots of cool things for God. King David had a son named Solomon, and Solomon had a son named Rehoboam, and the list goes on and on until we reach a man named Jacob, who has a son named Joseph, who marries a woman named Mary, and they have a baby boy named Jesus. And we know who Jesus is. You see, Rahab was a stranger who was welcomed in and ends up getting to be a part of Jesus' family. We don't have to save spies and welcome them into our home in order to be a part of God's family. As his sons and daughters, we are adopted and we are chosen in to be part of his family. He loves us and he wants to be with us and he wants to be with us always in everything that we do. All we have to do is believe. Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins, and because of that, we get to be part of his family. This week, I want you to use your time to thank God for letting him, letting, him letting you be a part of his family. Talk with your parents about what it means to be a family and what it means to be part of God's family. I love you guys, and I hope you have a great week. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.